folks, DC7 here, and welcome back aboard the Herman Marueta. We are having another go at Marine Search and Rescue, the ship simulator with a Coast Guard flare. Last time up, we had picked up a fellow that was stranded in the water, and uh, quite a belligerent person he was indeed, and as it turns out, the reason for it was he was... Uh, trying to escape custody and that's why he jumped off the passenger boat that he was on so while we were returning him to the local authorities we got a rescue call telling us that a catamaran with some well what sounded like young american gentlemen on board or actually more like young american surfers on board uh, interrupted our emergency channel just to let us know that yeehaw they were heading for the great USA and uh, well it turns out their skills on the radio are only matched by their seagoing navigational skills and now we have to go and rescue them and that's where we're on our way to now we're steaming full out Let's see if we can't find this catamaran so I thought that was it just right up there but it would appear that it is, in fact, off this way, and quite a ways out. We've been steaming for a fair bit here. Well, I guess we're not that far. I can still make out details on the shore where we left. So... Something in the water up ahead. Although, that's still <clears throat> a little off course of where we actually uh, are being told the ship is, so this may just be another buoy marker. But it is taking us a while to get there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I hope everybody's doing well, enjoying their summer. Maybe spending some actual real lifetime out on the water. I happen to uh, live in a place where I'm about, I don't know, less than a quarter mile from the ocean and have eh, six or seven good-sized lakes within a couple of miles with me, so I do spend a little bit of time out on the water still, although I'm no longer either Navy or Coast Guard and did serve in both. So I'm thinking this guy is somewhere out in this uh, deeper water out here by the looks of things. Indeed. Certainly didn't get very far. And it's times like this you wish you were a little quicker. <laughs> So I know this series isn't getting a whole bunch of love from my viewers, but I don't know. I still think uh, something to break up the farming videos can't hurt. And this is a pretty decent simulator compared to most of what comes down the line these days. I mean, I could do Totuck Simulator 2015 if you like, but I thought we'd save that for next year. Or never, because <laughs> it's really bad. So... And I really haven't found anything else. I know it's kind of funny, actually, if you look on the, uh, you know, Green Man Gaming or Gamers Gate or Steam or any of them, and actually look at what they list under simulators. It's uh, quite amazing, actually. And we still have no sign of this catamaran. Well, maybe they can tell us something here. Taking care of the catamaran. We're now Good dealing time. with the catamaran, really? Okay. I didn't think we'd actually come across it, yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's what I thought. We're not actually dealing with them. <laughs> We're still looking for them. Oh, I had no idea this was going to be this far out. 
This is crazy stuff. Oh well, probably a more typical day so far as the weather goes. Overcast, light rain, but nothing too rough in the way of seas. Oh again, I mean we're not exactly uh, 100 miles out or nothing. Not that you have to be. I uh, spent quite a bit of my time in the Coast Guard on the west side of Vancouver Island, which is uh, out open ocean. The uh, inner passage between Vancouver Island and the mainland never gets all that bad because there's really nowhere for the velocity of the wave and wind to pick up. So, But you go out on the west side and by guppy she can get awful unfriendly really fast, I'll tell you. I have uh, been out in my little rescue boat in easily 40 foot swells and uh, that was scary enough on the main cutter when they drop you in the water in your zodiac and <laughs> you got the uh, engines revving at about three quarters speed as soon as you hit the water so that you don't end up just slamming back into the side of the cutter you know you're in rough seas you know you start losing your sense of direction because you keep hitting the crests at the opposite time of the other rescue boat and your cutter and you just no way you can see them unless you both happen to hit a high sea at the same time and I have actually come off the top of a 40 foot swell caught enough air on the boat under the boat actually to uh, float me right over the top of my uh, rescue partner who was go running lateral to the wave sort of uh, inside wave surfing to pick up some speed because he hadn't quite had enough to make the crest the first time so yeah I came over the crest and looked down about 20 feet to where the actual water was and there's my buddy passing underneath me in the other boat good thing he wasn't looking up at the time or he probably would have had to go back to the cutter for a quick change of uniform but I get to uh, see some pretty amazing things actually while I was uh, in that particular line of work oh I can spot something on the horizon and uh, met some rather amazing people including probably one of the best helicopter pilots I've seen in my life and that includes all of the uh, heli loggers and that sort of thing that you see up in this part of the world but uh, some of the guys running those big rescue helicopters, my god, they were good at what they did. Really, really good at what they did. You know, a big Chinook helicopter is, uh, it's a large animal. Like, I mean, it's a really large animal. This is no small craft. And I have actually been waiting for them to come in to deliver divers to my boat and rescue gear. Uh, this was specifically, it was for a military rescue of a vessel. And, uh, watched as he takes this thing that's, you know, many, many ton, and I don't know how long they are. they got to be a good 60 feet long. You know, the big twin rotor, and, uh, touch one wheel onto a piece of, ex bit of exposed rock that was sticking up through the chuck. One wheel hovering directly over the bow of my Zodiac, and he sat there dead still with the other wheel suspended in the air and held such a perfect hover that the diver was able to unload all his gear into my Zodiac and himself like he was stepping off a staircase in your house. So they are quite a mi Okay, this doesn't look good. <laughs> this does not look good. I think we'd see a little more boat. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely got trouble here. I think we're going to come to a stop. Well, let's see what our logbook has to say, shall we? Three castaways are swimming around the cat. These people need to be rescued fast. Okay. So, we are going to... up here and see what we can do about these guys oh my 
That's not good. Their boat is in real trouble. She's completely under the water. All right, let's uh, go to the rescue position here. Hmm. I don't quite see where they went. Ah, uh, there we go. Oops. <laughs> Where the heck are you, dude? You gotta stay above the water, man. Ugh. Oh, I see what's going on here. They're on the wrong side of the swell. Ah. Alright, this is just not... Yeah. It doesn't seem to matter. See, it's uh, really kind of ridiculous that you can only pick them up on one side of the boat. Because as it turns out here, the way the sea's running, it's not going to allow... See what I mean? I just cannot turn that side of the boat towards them because there's too much sea. And if I do try and turn it towards them, then I'm way too close. See? Come on. Oh, good God. Yeah, they really shouldn't lean you to, or limit you to one side or the other. That's just ridiculous. They really don't allow enough view either. There he is. Oh, come on. One of them, for heaven's sakes, I should be able to get close enough to. Come on. Well, what? Um. Okay, this is easily. Oh. That's just ridiculous. I mean, that was certainly well easy, or well uh, to where I needed to be, you know? Why I didn't pick him up, I don't know. Again, <laughs> you know, why are you not picking the guy up? Come on. Well... Finally. Alright. <laughs> this is just wrong. I've never had this much trouble before with this particular thing. Well, why can't I pick him up? Thank you. Now, let's try and get the last guy. There, finally. So, is this the end of it from you hooligans? Yo, there are three of us. Catamaran, on your way to the USA with a bit of canned, canned food, food on board. <laughs> Seriously? Sure, that's plenty. We noticed that. We just miscalculated a bit. I hope you realize you're <coughs> it now. With the force of the water around the Tidelands of Heligoland, this is no place to play about. Oh, the force is strong with this one. Oh There's my water god. <laughs> he wouldn't be making such wisecrack then better not catch you out there in a coffin brig like that again.
Now I wonder if they're going to want us to try and tow that in. Uh, boy, oh boy. This is just... Not sure what's going on here today. I guess I just misjudged this water a little bit. There we go. Okay, we are on board. So, what would they like us to do now? Back to the station. Okay. So they don't, uh, don't want us to be bothering to rescue the ship right now. Okie dokie. what they want, uh, that's what we'll do. And we're off. Need a little more bounce to her today than there has been the last few times, that's for sure. We've definitely got... Indeed. <laughs> Woohoo. Oh, what? Is there some reason I can't get up the stairs? This is uh, something that a lot of people have complain to the game devs about is that particular issue it's really 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 too easy to uh, get stuck both on the the little areas around the ship you know and uh, as well as the stairs as soon as you hit a set of stairs it's like you just all of a sudden become completely crippled <laughs> Or you're really, really fat, I'm not sure. He doesn't, that Piet doesn't look that, uh, that chunky, but hey, you never know. So they just want us to go in, eh? We're just going to leave that cat back to the station at our home port. Okay. We will do that. I suppose that'll be the next mission, sorry, will be to go way the heck back out there and grab the catamaran. Boy, oh boy, this is uh, really quite bouncy. Ah. Uh, yeah. Huh. It's almost like this vessel is just a little bit overly buoyant. You know? Like, I really do think that a vessel this size is going to sit a little lower in the water. I mean, we're spending an awful lot of time... You can actually see both props are exposed as she comes off the waves. Yeah, you see that in smaller passenger vessels, but very seldom in a vessel of this length. Because these seas, I mean, these aren't very big seas. We're only looking at... I mean, there's not even a chop. It's just swells. And they only appear to be maybe six to eight foot swells. Not terribly even, so you can't really, uh, I mean, if we wanted to really reduce it, of course, we'd want to come in this way. There we go. And this is actually the most stable. Because you always want to expose as little surface as you can to the oncoming wave. However, that's not going to get us to port, and like I say, these are certainly not heavy enough seas that we're going to worry about swamping or tipping because of these little tiny waves. And I think that that's all they're going to want us to do, is simply go back into port. Hmm. Wow. Well. I don't imagine we can get into too much trouble between here and there. So, I guess that's it for this mission. We're going to uh, drop off these young fellas here inside the harbor. And uh, 
I would think next time around we're probably going to go rescue the catamaran. Hopefully without these dudes on board. And I do use the term dudes. <laughs> but, hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Until the next time, if you like the series, please leave a like, leave a comment, show some support. I'd love to grow the channel. This has been Species 7. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.